video today and we're going to do a video based on the Ram 9 DLC and what I would actually have in it and it is an honest opinion and it might be different to other people's but I just like the looks of the cars and how remarkable their achievements are and starting off with the Ferrari F40 competition eyes as I am showing you a photo. 10 out of 10 the looks in. The looks really change it and the performance does. And it splits apart from the normal one. It just has no lack of subtlety. It's kind of right in the face. And I quite like that look on a Ferrari and for the number two car it would be a Honda NSX or if you're in America it will be an Acura NSX as I am showing you a photo doesn't it look good and I mean good looking good looking goes the Aston Martin 177 and the reason I chose this is it's a Detroit Motor Show. It really had a very strong personality. And number three, it would have to be the Porsche 917K. And so about my crash. It's just that I got lots of cars behind me. As I show you a photo here. Hashtag awesome, I have to admit. And there's a bit of reasoning because it, it has some heritage with it. It's not like a normal Porsche, it's a racing Porsche. It is actually quite good looking and has done an achievement on the Le Mans racing circuit. And I really mean done such a good job at Le Mans that I would choose it for the Ram 9 DLC, car, DLC pack car and for number 4 the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento definitely and the reason why because there's a few reasons number 1 and this will be a spoiler alert on one of the Top Gear episodes, Richard Hammond drove one of them, the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. And number two, it is quite amazing because it's, it's so light that it's mind-boggling. And number three, it's just tempting. Oh, that was four reasons, I think. I go showing you a po photo here. Ah oh, ha 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 ha! That looks so awesome. Every way and every shape. And number five. No, is it? Let me have a count. Yes, number five. And number five, the Conning's egg. It gave a one to one. And it's the first mega car. And it will be the end of the Agiras. And they wanted to end it with a bang. And I would have chosen the Agira with its mind boggling power. And it has up to, like, you know how much. 108, no, 1800 brake horsepower. That's just so amazing. And the photo's here. Ta-da! That was good. In every single shape and form, it just, it won't age away fading. It will just be a reminder for people to get inspired. 
by the man who made the Koenigseggs, Christian von Koenigsegg, and the, the number six car, it would be the Porsche 918, but it won't be a normal one, it'll be the sports version, where they did that sports version, I think it was called the RSR, for the race version, it just is amazing every single shape or form and I mean it's, it's not like it has like si no it's not like it's silenced over time it just looks so awesome that it makes me smile there's a photo here wow isn't that good looking and I mean good looking. I said it twice. So, it just has the performance of a 918, but, but it has more power and everything. And for the last car, it would be a bonus car. The Ferrari FXX Evolutionize, because that is such a good car in every shape or form and did you know that um, on one of the Top Gear episodes Michael Schumacher drove one and he did a, a what did he do a, a one minute something it was definitely in the one digits that's all I know and, it, and he did it to Michael Schumacher because he practiced and the car was powerful anyways so it's a good car so put it in Forza and I hope this is a good inspiration if you're not doing it now Forza and bye from my nine please like and subscribe bye and don't forget giveaway on Friday so subscribe now